right, today we got a downtown Riverwalk tournament. Had a big turnout. This might be the biggest turnout so, turnout so far. 18 people. And uh, there's enough people where the winner gets a good amount of money. And even second place is going to get some money. So, I just, I'm going to try to get to a couple spots here. Try to manage my time. I'm starting about 10 minutes later after everybody else because I had to get everything set up. But, uh, I'm gonna say so it's 4.30 now. Got till 7.30 to meet back here. I'm gonna fish these spots for a little while. Get down to some other spots. Maybe 15 minutes in each location. And then I'm gonna jump in my truck and get to a different spot. It's a little further away. Come on. Just had a bite. I got one. <laughs> there we go. I knew this spot would pay off for at least one for sure. I was hoping for something a little bit better than that, but. I need to bring some night crawlers down here sometime. Have you seen these tilapia that are hanging out? They're giant. But I got one bass, it was about this long. <laughs> it's you or anybody else there? I don't know, I haven't seen anybody. Everybody else kind of stuck around over there except for the guy with the bike. But we got $120 for first place and $60 for second. That's fucking badass. That's a good turnout. Yeah. 18. I think that's tied for the highest. Yes. Oh, you son of a bitch. That was a bass, too. I know, I had one in a while ago. <laughs> no, it's a bass. It's a bass. There you go. We might be tied. Well, that's five inches. I think mine's five and three quarters. All right, I came out here a couple of times to pre-fish for the tournament. But I ended up, I was using, I used this rod one time and I used an ultralight a couple of times. But the ultralight was really hard to get hook sets. And for this tournament, I need something with some backbone. So I'm going with my uh, bald guy fishing American tackle rod. And uh, I'm using Skinny Sanko on just an EWG 2 2 watt hook. And uh, I'm getting bites. I've only landed one so far, but I'm getting bites. Just had one. Ugh. It'd be awesome if I kept one under the police boat. Yeah, but I saw him swim up and follow it too. Any luck? Just bites. I hooked bites. a big turtle. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, I had a hard time trying to get it loose. That was how I spent my first hour. Oh yeah? Wow. <laughs> where was that at? Over there where I was first fishing. Under that tree? Where that uh, yeah. spillway was. <laughs> how about you guys? I got one and he's got one. Yeah. But they're tiny. But yeah. they count, they're bass. Yeah, one guy has a small, small one too. Yeah. Well, Got him by that waterfall. From yeah. Area. Which is weird. I caught a two pounder out of there the last time. Oh, okay. I, right? I, saw one. I pulled one out of this little pocket here the last time. Oh! Oh! Did you see that? He came up and swiped at it. 
Now everybody's gonna stop and start fishing here. <laughs> All right, this is where I'm gonna finish up. I think I can, hopefully I can pull a couple of fish out of here. We'll see. Come on. Got him, got him. Come on. Stay on, yep. It's a little one, but you're not going nowhere. All right, that's a nine and a quarter. As far as I know, that might put me up in the lead. I don't know. I hope so. We're really running out of time here. Well, my battery's dead, but I don't care. <clears throat> All right, I'm uh, transferring over my files from the GoPro to the uh, computer to do the editing. Uh, battery died on the GoPro uh, before I made it back to the uh, check-ins, but uh, you know it was it was a pretty big gamble because I'd been in that one area for the majority of the tournament, and uh, I was still getting bites. I was getting a lot of bites, and uh, so I kind of went against my game plan. My game plan was to uh, spend about 15 minutes in a spot in like these four spots I was looking for for the first hour, and then I was going to uh, take off from there and head to the other end of the, the uh, location, the other end of the river walk, and fish there for another hour, and then... For the last half hour, you know, that, that would cover the driving time. And then I would get back to the check-in area and still have a few minutes to fish and maybe top it off or something. But uh, I was getting bites on every cast in the first couple of areas that I spent the majority of the tournament there. And uh, uh, towards the end, I was running out of time. And I decided to take the gamble and go ahead and move to the end of the, turn the, end of the river walk anyway. And I was only probably there for about 10 minutes. If I'd stayed there any longer, I would have been late to getting back to the check-ins. And uh, it, it ended up paying off. The uh, I brought in one. It was just... Uh, I had one earlier when I first got there, right by these waterfalls. But it was only about 5 inches. And uh, in the last 10 minutes there at the, the other end, it paid off. I was getting a lot of bites there. I wish I had a little bit more time. I probably... I mean, I didn't really need to, but I could have caught a lot more fish if I had stuck to my original game plan and gotten there with more time. But I got there with just enough time to catch one and head back. And uh, uh, I missed a couple of other ones, but had like three or four get away. But I ended up landing a five, five and three quarters and a nine and one quarter for a total of 15 inches. And... When we got back to the check-ins, check everybody else had only caught one fish. So there was one guy who caught a 12-inch, and then after that, the next biggest was like 7 inches. So with my two, both of mine being under 10 inches, I actually won the tournament. And uh, so that gamble at the end really paid off, literally paid off, and uh, it worked out. Uh, second place, this was probably the most people that have showed up for a tournament that we've done and so there were so many entries that even the second place winner got a cash prize which is something we've never done before it's always been like uh, just a box of tackle or something like that which went to the third place winner so this is one of the few times when we've had all three places get a prize and uh, I mean there, there wasn't that many fish caught today I wasn't expecting there to be a lot of fish caught it's about the number I expected, but I expected at least a better size. Uh, nobody caught anything in the keeper range. And, um, yeah, it was pretty crazy.
because, I mean, I've been spending a lot of time down there lately pre-fishing and practicing, and I guess doing all that, I caught all the big ones. Uh, so, yeah, but I mean, that's my second win for this. And, uh, yeah, uh, thanks for watching. If you're from the area, go ahead and go to my website. I just bought a new domain. It's cheapanglerfishing.com. That'll forward, forward you to my old website, but it's still cheapanglerfishing.com or cheapangler.us, and there's information about the tournament club on there. So if you want to join and you're interested in doing this kind of thing, it's on there. Check it out, and uh, thanks for watching.